Welcome to our next Q&A session and our algebraic expression. Our question is expand and simplify expand and simplify the algebraic expression to multiplying 6x minus 5 then plus 3 multiplying 2x minus 1 before we proceed if this is your first time of being here click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime new videos are uploaded you will be updated now let's get back to the question to expand and simplify algebraic expression in this form we are having brackets there and then we are having numbers multiplying those in the brackets so what you are going to do first is you are going to expand these brackets by expansion we mean multiply the number outside the brackets by each term in the brackets multiply the number outside the bracket by each term in the bracket now let's expand it we have 2 multiplying 6x and then minus 5 so 2 multiplying 6x gives us what 12x then 2 multiplying minus 5 gives us minus 10 now we are done with this term let's move on to the next one we have positive 3 multiplying 2x that one gives us positive 6x and then positive 3 multiplying negative 1 also gives us what negative 3 now we have finished expanding this expression so this is the result so we are going to simplify and by simplification you are going to first group like terms when we say group like terms we mean write all the constant numbers at one side and then write those having the same variable multiplying them at the other side so when you look at this expression we have the variable x being multiplied by 12 we also have the variable x being multiplied by the number 6 okay so the coefficient of the variable x in this expression is what 12 and 6 so you write these ones together as like terms. They are alike. They are in the same family. And then aside these, we also have numbers which are not having any variable multiplying them. So those are the numbers we call the constant numbers. So you can see that we have negative 10 as a constant number. There is no variable multiplying it. You see negative 3 as a constant number. There is no variable multiplying it. Okay, so now let's group like terms. We have our 12x, then plus 6x, and then the constant number negative 10, and then negative 3. Now, these terms are alike, so we can put them together. We can add them. 12x plus 6x gives us 18x. And then negative 10, subtracting 3 from 8 will give us what? Negative 13. So this becomes the simplest form of the expression 2 multiplying 6x minus 5 plus 3 multiplying 2x minus 1. The answer is what? 18x minus 13. Now that you have understood how to expand and simplify the, an algebraic expression in this format. Try the next question. Welcome back. 
So the question giving you to try was 5 multiplying 4x plus 3 minus 3 multiplying 7x minus 2. We have to expand and simplify. So we know the expansion to be multiplying the number outside the bracket by each term in the bracket. Multiply the number outside the bracket by each term in the bracket so that you take off the bracket. Okay, good. So 5 multiplying 4x gives you what? 20x. 5 multiplying positive 3 gives you 15. Now let's come here. Negative 3 multiplying 7x gives you negative 21x. And then negative 3 multiplying negative 2 gives you positive 6. Now that we've taken off the brackets, we have done with the expansion. So let's group like terms. So we have 20x minus 21x plus 15 plus 6. Now 20x minus 21x gives you negative 1x so you write it as negative x 15 plus 6 gives you what positive 21 so this becomes the answer for expand and simplify your algebraic expression 5 multiplying 4x plus 3 minus 3 multiplying 7x minus 2 was this the answer that you got if that was the answer, then correct for three points. Now let's move on to the next video for more questions and answers.